Okay, now do you ever log into Facebook and get annoyed by all these application invites you get? So I've got 71, uh, 72 including this one up here, invites. And I know that most of them I'm going to know, the vast majority actually, I'm going to ignore. So there's a way you can automatically block all of these and I'm going to show you how. The first thing is you're going to want to install a certain Facebook application. Um, sorry, that's um, you're going to want to install a certain Firefox extension. Um, which is called Grease Monkey. So I'm going here to the the Firefox add-ons. I'm looking up Grease Monkey. And I'm going to install this this add-on. Okay. So I've installed the Grease Monkey add-on uh, well, installing in progress. Okay, I'm going to restart Firefox so that this um app, this add-on will will start running. Okay, now we got the Grease Monkey add-on running here. Um, the next thing we want to do is we want to install a certain script that's going to automatically block all those application invites. Um, so we'll close this. We'll go to a place called userscripts.org, which has many different scripts that you can install um, for use on Grease Monkey. And the one we're going to use is called the auto block Facebook apps. Um, I already searched it before, so it automatically came up. But that's what it's called, the auto block Facebook apps. So I'm going to search for that on this site, userscripts.org. Um, there's an, there's actually two that come up. The one I'm going to use in this example is this one, the auto block Facebook apps 1.1. Um, this one I've looked at a little. It does. It's similar, but I haven't actually tried using that script. But we're going to try using this one, the Auto Black Facebook Apps 1.1. So now what you do here is you just go to the page about the script. You go to Install Scripts. Uh, this little window for Grease Monkey comes up, talking about the script here. So let's just install that. Might take a while. Yeah. Okay. Now I think it's installed. And now, when we go back to Facebook, it will automatically block any of the apps. So it blocked this one because it was it was by itself up there. But now when I go to this page, now this is the cool part. When I go to my other request, which is the page of all your invites, watch what happens. This is awesome. It's one by one blocking every single one of them, of these invites. Now what this does is it blocks, it not, not just ignores, it actually blocks these applications, um, which will decrease your invite count in the long run. Okay. I'm not sure what's happening on these here. I'll look into that later. But anyways, if you scroll down here, you can see I've ignored all of these these application invites and it's added all these 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 applications to my block list. Now, if you want to see your block list in case there's an application you that's blocked automatically that you maybe want to use and just to to browse what has been blocked, you can go to privacy Got a slow connection here. Okay. You go to privacy, applications, and then the other applications. These are the applications. The first page there was the application you have added. But if you go to other applications, down at the bottom, it shows blocked applica applications. Now, here I have a huge long list of blocked ap applications because I've had tons of people who have invited me to all these different applications and they've automatically been blocked because I've been I just used that the grease monkey script um, so that's it that's a quick way to oh one side note 
Um, one negative side of effect of this ad is, is if you actually have an ad application installed already and someone invites you to that application again, it will uninstall it and block you. But if you notice that happening, you can just come in here and you can remove, you know, one by one whichever app you you do want to use. Um, so that's it. I hope this little demonstration was helpful. Um, I know I'm going to be using this this a lot more in the future because I hate getting all those those requests, those application requests. So that's it.